ఇష్టం సో నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు త్రీ డి కల్చర్ టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ అ స్పెషల్ గెస్ట్ అవిరల్ సింగ్ హూ హ్యాస్ బీన్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ మెనీ మల్టీనేషనల్ banking corporation so he has been into investment banking uh, software industry for a longer time he has been with uh, organizations like credit sui uh, barclays city but uh, he is a technocrat uh, if i would say uh, he has been trying and, uh, and and what we see is he's very much fascinated and very much into the industry 4.0 trying many things into uh, 3d printing uh, Uh, augmented reality vr and and the and the iot and definitely it will be a great talk speak, uh, talk, uh, talk with uh, aviral uh, speaking on 3d printing we started so welcome aviral uh, to the, the channel and uh, we will look forward to having a great chat with you thank you mudit and namaste to you um uh, i'm i'm really looking forward to this conversation um uh, right you you touched upon a lot of things i'm passionate about so thank you so uh, i will uh, straight uh, first question comes out to the mind is that uh, you have been into software industry and basically working with uh, large banking corporations and industry 4.0 or the manufacturing industry uh, is definitely uh, leaps apart from what software industry is and your interest into these things and you have been uh, quite a, a not a new entrant you you have been trying different things experimenting with 3d printer so what makes you interested and how did you started with this if you would like to just talk about that um thank you mudit so um I, i'm a very different person right some people would like to call me crazy and um a technology is something that i have been interested in throughout starting right from right from when i was a kid um uh, in fact um i'm probably going to reveal my age here which i shouldn't but um i remember when the first radio kits came out in india um i actually created a transistor Uh, and that's how i learned how to use a soldering iron and understand what a resistance and a capacitor was and 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 i i've always tried to do things with my hands and getting into software was more of a coincidence than anything else and for me all technology including software is very exciting so from an industry 4.0 perspective i think i first got interested in it about I was about 4 years ago when I read about 3D printing and what 3D printing was doing and and augmented reality and 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 virtual reality have been growing on their own on own on the side right and and um including IoT and I've been trying to follow what's happening in this space for a while um but then came the lockdown and after the first lockdown um looking to see what i could do out of interest right at home and december last year was when just fortuitously in a conversation with a friend uh we started talking about 3d printing and his wife happened to be a printing engineer and said uh let me put you in touch with some of my classmates mm-hmm. and the conversation started from there and then i just got a 3d printer uh early this year and started to play around with it and 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 it's been very exciting because 3d printing reading about 3d printing and doing 3d printing as i'm sure you know very well are, are two very different things very different, yes. and i've had so many people come and just watch the printer and go ah oh, that's what you meant by what you were talking about right and i can sit and i get mesmerized i can watch it for hours just printing away which makes no sense but i can still watch it for hours just printing away so same with you right yeah. so getting a printer and then starting to experiment with various things 
Right, has has really caught my attention, and and I have absolutely no intention of stopping. So I, I hope that gave you kind of the background of what is driving me to this side. Absolutely, absolutely. and yes, uh, you very well said that uh, since you have interest in technology, and uh, we must learn that uh, how to utilize the time to the best. Of uh, talking about three D printing. Uh, and i'm sure there are multiple applications 3d printed uh, 3d printers connected with iot multiple apps so that's also going so have you tried to experiment in that area as well not yet not yet i i i had a full time job until recently mm-hmm. and uh, time is always at a premium right but um i'm starting to think about that but what's very interesting is if you look at the market today and what's happening 3D printing is an area where things are changing. Sometimes it feels like on an hourly basis, right? If you look at the materials coming out, if you look at the techniques coming out, post-production techniques coming out, and one of the things that has happened, I think it was last week, if I remember correctly, is somebody released a, a full suite of software to manage, I think, up to 40 printers at a time. So those things are already out there, and if you look at um, how three D printing will really work in the future, if you look at at least from an industrial perspective, you have to integrate it with the floor management software of the firms, right, of the factories, because if you can't do three D printing on demand, which automatically starts things finishes monitors things finishes things takes it off the build plate so you can do your next uh, uh, build that's going to be very difficult to manage so i think the automation piece that you're talking about which will include everything from um, 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 iot to monitoring to control systems around 3d printer are going to be very important and at the same time if we don't look at the AR and VR technologies from a variety of perspectives. Um, In my opinion, AR is going to be critical in terms of making sure that the models are appropriate, Mm -hmm. right, for whatever we're trying to do. And VR is going to be critical in terms of doing the modeling, right, making sure the models look fine by themselves. And if you're going to take something which is in the virtual world, which are, which are our models, and make it real, right, then we have to go through those steps. So I think in within a very few years, we're going to see that integration across all four of these technologies, right, which will really take 3D printing to the next level. Because by itself, it's a very interesting technology. But to really have the impact, it's got to kind of get into the day-to-day of everything, is my opinion. Yep, absolutely. I think uh, I've been speaking to many people, uh, uh, 3D printing. Uh, we have talked at length about 3D printing, working with IoT devices, 3D printing. In fact, Cura has now enabled AI-based uh, slicing into their software. That's a paid service for now. But you were the first one talking about AR and VR. So definitely that's a great thought, I would say. And I definitely agree with you. Uh, We have a virtual reality uh, augmenting our capabilities to create a project, uh, create a product uh, just from the view of it and directly into a 3D printer. Definitely that's the future. I I totally agree with you. It will be in just a few years, maybe just a couple of years or three years. And uh, talking about the learning, so you 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 touched upon that that uh, doing three D printing and knowing and reading about three D printing is completely different. Uh, I truly stand in the same boat with you. Especially when we start, we start with FDM printing. That's the that's very tough uh, or very critical because we we often fail and patience plays a critical role. Uh, do you want to share a few of your learnings in the early days? <laughs> uh, patience, as you said, I think is number one, right? Um, FDM is awesome, but one of the things is it's also slow. 
so just understanding that let it happen don't touch it right is 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 one brilliant thing a few other things i think the especially the hobby printers right when you first get them um a hobby printer out of the box and an upgraded hobby printer are two completely different printers right so for me just that do it yourself thing has allowed me to understand how this thing actually works and you realize it's not magic but it's absolutely brilliant in terms of everything that has been done over the past 20 or so years with an FTM FTM world to make it happen right and to me even more than just the printing has been the understanding of what printing can do for us and some of the conversations that i've been having right and if you really look at the contributions that are possible it's absolutely amazing so there's one conversation that you can have about um how industry can uh, can improve right uh, there's another conversation i was having with somebody who is starting a uh, a uh, 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 company to make um devices for people with disabilities and the first product they were thinking of doing an advanced wheelchair so how do they prototype it 3d printing with carbon fiber right i've had conversations with people in the uh, people trying to work on reduction of carbon emissions and 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 net zero without decentralized manufacturing that isn't happening of course right if you look at the transportation industry i think that's going to be severely affected by this if you look at the supply chain industry but in fact uh, i don't know if you heard um after the supply chain disruption of last year in 2020 the us did a um a, a week week long exercise of what they would do if that happened again and the whole basis of that was the existing 3d printing infrastructure in the us and while they haven't made the results completely public the part that was public while they found two or three things which they need to improve on the whole it seems to be working and they're pretty comfortable so i think 3d printing has so much of a role to play and i wouldn't have learned any of these or had any of these conversations had i not be, been doing it actively right so just opens up a whole new world and window exactly and and you touched about that uh, medical so that's a that's a massive field uh, i oh, have yeah. seen people and surgery planning is a very up, good upcoming field in india in india we have been uh, uh, quite behind uh, the us and other european countries but uh, there is a company in chennai which is doing surgery planning on demand uh, so if if a hospital has to do a surgery they just uh, give them a call and they do on demand printing for them and they have many services sorry excellent that's really amazing yeah and and also uh, in jewelry uh, we i mean we didn't know that most of the jewelry and exotic designs are mostly 3d printed first and then it's casted so coming back to uh, the, this 3d printing and the contribution to industry uh, how are uh, you seeing that you will be contributing to the 3d printing industry uh, <laughs> because uh, you have gained garner a lot of experience and knowledge in 3d printing i'm sure uh, the, the viewers and also the community members will be definitely uh, interested to have a chat with you and know from you and get excited by your experience i would that i would love to have conversations right i i i i do but i'm a rank amateur compared to a lot of people right who will be looking at this video uh, i've been doing this for about 6 to 7 months um right so my knowledge is very limited um and i don't know how much i'll actually end up contributing but there's a couple of things which i am going to do one of the beliefs that i have is that 
we need to make make this much more natural and spread the knowledge right so an ex- as an example before i started 3d printing i realized i need to learn 3d design now i'm a person who can't draw a straight line so i was wondering how i'm going to do it right so but um, um uh, using a couple of tools i was able to create the designs uh, at least close to what i wanted to so one of the things that i want to start doing and fairly soon actually is start holding classes for stu- school students around 3d design and 3d printing right uh, uh, prepare some light course material and and do that on a regular basis get people excited about it mm-hmm. right yeah, and the second objective that i have at this point is to just talk to as many people as possible yeah because when you talk about jewelry i talk to i talk to a couple of jewelers right i talk to dentists um uh, in fact one of the areas which blew my mind was hearing aids right the number of hearing aids pretty much all of them are made because they need to be customized to the shape of your ear right yeah. and i think just talking to people gives people ideas as to what can be done yeah and that's something i intend to do um the one thing we really need to figure out is how we can do get 3d scanning to become more egalitarian and accessible right the moment we can do that i think 3d printing will follow in suite um but those are my current plans whether i do something more or not remains to be seen right and depends on on where i go from where i am right now and you touched a very good point uh, because i, I know um, the person uh, i was talking about my friend who runs a startup he also uh, a similar kind of guy who do not know design but he is uh, having a full fresh 3d printers army uh, with him and so do i i also don't know design i tried my hand burned my hand and it's just for hobby so i could not but i outsourced it you learned it because uh, you had a more interest uh, maybe that but i think the knowledge base is so immense we get designs obviously custom designs have to be made but we get so much ideas we just when we just simply just play so uh, do you want to share uh, some of some of the products or some of the articles which you have 3d printed which which are some some cool stuff just to uh, know what we are printing yeah um that's going to be a difficult one to answer mudit because um i've it, it's very interesting right so i first started with all the standard stuff because there's so much to learn right so i i i looked at uh, some of the things you print are in the beginning other tools to calibrate your printer that's what you pretty much start with after you do the cat or the dog um um and then i started to look at various things so the octopus just to look at how right you have those structures being built and then i said i got interested in joints so i tried out a few joints right i wanted to see how uh, a hinge would work right how a nut and bolt would work um and that's how i kind of started learning about oh my god i understand nothing about tolerances so i got to figure that out so that's the kind of stuff one thing led to another in terms of finished products again i've done toys and and what i mean by toys is that um so i designed and built actually it's right here i can show it to you so i designed and built an amplifier right it's a very simple amplifier i just yeah. put my phone in it so if i want to listen to music outside right it works quite well right simple things like this um designed a case for somebody to put their iphone support stuff um uh so when they travel now their charger their airpods right that and their charging wire all kind of that stuff fits it to one box is in one place right uh that kind of stuff i've done um the project that i decided to go for uh, abs for is i have some interesting lights in my bathroom which i want to change so the structure for that i'm planning to do in abs i can't do it in pla right because the humidity in the bathroom will kill it right so there's going to be a light fixture that i'm going to design um and and print in abs i'll let you know how it turns out uh but that's my next project so 
after doing all the initial fun stuff, I am more of a person who's going to look at what do I need it for. Actually, right, a friend of mine came to me. They had bought a, a, a one of those robot vacuum cleaners, and a part to that broke. Right, so we created a replacement part for that. So that kind of stuff is what I'm going to enjoy and make something more functional. So you are coming yeah. exactly to the point where we started uh, with an idea to uh, have this community uh, or the 3D culture part. The name culture comes from that idea. When uh, I was speaking to uh, one of our uh, associate Vivek, that 3D printing and its application. So. my idea was that i have a broken or i have a vacuum cleaner at home and this is it's an actual story uh, but the nozzles of that vacuum cleaner they are all gone i do not have the nozzle but i have a vacuum cleaner but can i 3d print the vacuum cleaner nozzles yes uh, and i did that i just took the sizes and i have vacuum cleaner nozzles without spending money outside So, and as just you said that you had a replacement part and you have a part for your light fixtures that's the real 3d printing utility and that has to come to the masses uh, i think we are not there yet we need to create that culture and that's why 3d printing has so much of uh, uh, scope and you talked about that print in place uh, uh, re- removing or reducing the carbon footprint so obviously uh, like automobiles workshops and tools being print at the place for the requirement that's the real case we would like to see quite often and i will be definitely definitely highly highly uh, interested to see how your new next prints will come out uh, i'll i'll uh, have a last question to you and a uh, quite a, a common one like how do you or, or what do you advise to the people who are starting in 3d printing be it uh, a printing or uh, designing or just for hobbying doing both or any one of them and also the small entrepreneurs who want to do start something into 3d printing i <laughs> the advice i'm going to give is my learning right number 1 if you my opinion completely right if you start it up as a business you're going to have issues you got to first start it up as a hobby because if you don't enjoy it it's going to be a problem because 3d printing is not really plug and play today even the most expensive me- machines right while well, they advertise plug and play and maybe much more plug and play than the hobby machines they still not plug and play so until you enjoy it and understand what actually goes into it and how it happens you're not going to have fun and you're not going to progress very easily so that's one second thing is don't get disheartened the market doesn't exist today but it will and, I, and i'll give you a couple of conversations about this so i was having a conversation with somebody and they said oh we tried 3d printing it didn't work for their business and my opinion is it's perfect for their business so i said okay what did you try and when did you try it and what happened and they said well we tried it 6 years ago and i'm like okay so 6 years ago the technology just wasn't mature enough to be able to do anything right and i'm sure the accessibility in india was even lower yeah. right this is this is an india person right so i'm going to try to convince them to try it again right to see if it really works for them so the time right now is great because Five years ago, the technology just wasn't there. Today, the technology is, I think, this close to being there. With all the changes, very soon we're going to have the technology which will really, really work. Right today, it works. It'll really work. But there's no market. Absolutely. Five years from today, I think there's going to be a huge market. So, riding that wave. from the technology being there and no market 
to the technology being there in a huge market is i think going to be incredible for anybody who really joins the 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 bandwagon right so come on come on let's create a community let's make it happen and lead the exciting times right yeah absolutely very very wise words uh, uh, you talked about that uh, if you look at the technology it's nothing i mean i talk about uh, one of the person uh, who by whom i got introduced to 3d printing and he talked about, he started with saying that i am a robotic engineer and i wanted to build some parts for my robots but i was not able to customize them and that's where he bought a 3d printer and eventually he reverse engineered the 3d printer and he said that this is nothing but a robotic arm which creates a uh, a particle or, or or a product layer by layer so he created his own 3d printer and he is now having a good business in india manufacturing 3d printers that's so, fun and he he has been into industry from last 8 years and still he says that market is nothing today just as you like uh, said just now so uh, we do believe market is going to explore and uh, and talking about the covid you also touched about the covid uh, days uh, there have there have been many talks about 3d printing this guy actually created the face shields 3d printed on order from multiple government organization that was a great use case print in place and very quick turn around so definitely 3d printing is going to be a key player uh, in manufacturing and service and also bespoke industry i think uh, as you are saying that the customization will be key uh, you, were, you talked about hearing aids and some wheelchairs 2020 uh, olympics all already the paralympics had 3d printed uh, products for the athletes i think it's going to be a great journey any any last words i really would like to share i think uh, uh, we have taken much time uh, from you but any apps comments or, or advice uh, for the viewers before we close no thank you modat I, i i really appreciate you having me here i think um you and your team have done a wonderful job i think um you have the right ideas you're going about it the right way and i think uh the fact that we talk about that market exploding and being created that's not going to happen by itself and the kind of stuff that you people are doing are going to be critical for that to happen so all the best to you and anything i can do to help please let me know thank you very much thank you and definitely we will be uh, uh, talking much more uh, a lot more in the future course and definitely looking forward to uh, uh, having your more talks and more products out of the 3d printer thanks a lot thanks a lot for your time today thank you thanks so i'll just